Hello everyone and welcome to your logic classes is crackers code and today with us we have miss pooja who is enrolled in the integrated program at iit hcc's master of arts program so hello pooja hello uh, would you like to introduce yourself yeah sure good evening all uh, myself pooja samrani i am from trivandrum kerala i yeah all right so uh, let's talk about your academic background like from which stream you took in your class 11th and 12th yeah i was from humanities background and i studied in five different schools uh, like in different states mm -hmm. so my like, my father was in air force uh, so we used to transfer every time mm -hmm, but in 11th and 12th uh, i studied in humanities all right that's cool that's cool so how did you get to know yeah. about hs double as an exam yeah i didn't know before like taking humanities uh, because uh, this was introduced by my teacher like our class teacher uh, towards the end of the 11th standard because we were in like going to be 12 standard students and mm -hmm. she asked us to prepare for entrance mm -hmm. along with the boards so yeah we were one of the very or i must say that the luckiest students who didn't actually have to give the class 12th board right we just yeah. we just gave our entrances and boom we are right into the college yeah it's true but you must have actually prepared for your boards right yeah because a uh, board cancellation was in the end towards the, end. the beginning we yeah. didn't know that it's going to be cancelled so we did prepare you know boards and for entrance simultaneously so how did you manage both of these yeah it was difficult because uh very suddenly the pandemic came and everything moved to online and you know because it was like emotionally a very overwhelming at the moment i did not start in the beginning after only like you know september month only i like seriously started preparing so did you get to know about hsw in your class 11th or 12th only towards the end of the 11th i was not really focusing on for hsc i was actually for other entrances Mm -hmm. you know i did not able to make a proper decision ki which subject i want to pursue specifically yeah. so i was preparing for all the entrances which was like possible for me as a humanities student so it was a generic preparation in the beginning yeah that's absolutely so uh, you must have referred to some books right or some particular material for your preparation strategy yes so what were those um, first in the brain i enrolled to con like institution coaching institute like before 6 months of the exam mm -hmm. uh, for to get an idea for but there there was not like specifically for hsc it's for, for like you know general for everything mm -hmm. like maths qualitative aptitude and english mm -hmm. so others uh, i got to know more about hsc through the website because they portal like the syllabus for their topics they going to ask questions mm -hmm. so i used to go through wikipedia a lot about like individual topics and world affairs mainly because of newspaper mm -hmm. one year and i must say that yearbook really helped me a lot i remember like revising stuff from yearbook because it gave me pointers for essay also so how did you like tackle your english section because i think that majority of the people would have a problem there yeah english was like a you know everybody can speak of course like in, but when mm -hmm. it comes to grammar and writing it is difficult mm -hmm. because i studied in kv so we used to do use hindi more than english yeah so uh, i used to read but still i was not like really confident about grammar but i used to brennan martin books and comprehensions and then um, i got to know from my senior that you if you read newspaper on a daily basis like the editorial page it will help you reading was not only really important you need to read fast mm -hmm. because in exam while writing exam you don't have enough time because you have maths to do so you need to read fast and not i was a passive reader so i took a mm -hmm. little time yeah, that's yeah that is a problem absolutely i mean i also am a big advocate of reading for like 2 hours daily because i believe that readers are actually the leaders it improves your knowledge exactly. and yeah it makes you better in the field that you are reading so right exactly so uh, what were your preparation strategy for let's say uh, economics and world affairs uh, you for, won't find much of the content for these two sections i guess 
yeah even if you find it it's kind of too much mm-hmm. like so many stuff to do it but all those stuff are not important like for exam world affairs i was like really interested in international relations so mm-hmm. i enjoyed reading about it and also from i'm from humanity so in 12th standard we had textbook politics textbook for like cold war related stuff so it mm-hmm. was interesting but that was not really like enough you know you need to read more about it so this yearbook that will summarize you what happened in the entire year so i focused on that area more and did more readings from the google especially from wikipedia and then uh, for economics i studied because i studied 11th and 12th economics so that kind of helped me mm-hmm. sort of Absolutely. but then yeah but like from a uh, cbse point of view they want us to be descriptive you know the writing material and stuff but for entrance we need to have application method more like uh-huh. understanding you have to be on point like, about the topics that you are reading yeah you need to have clear understanding of the theory very important because some questions can be tricky yeah so you were enrolled in an offline coaching right it was not offline coaching it was online oh. like it was recorded video like if you want you can watch like that you know for oh. maths and english so uh, you are in college right so do you believe that having an coach having a coaching or having a subscription to an online course actually puts you on a leverage as compared to the students who do not yes because you know you can study as much as you want okay but you need to test yourself through mock test that is very important uh, mm-hmm. because i know i studied for two months yeah i know everything but first when i attempted mock test i realized oh my god i have to do a lot of other things like time management mm-hmm. and then questions making me nervous i don't know what to do how fast to do but after attempting first mock test i realized oh my god this preparation is not enough you need to set time and do things so i believe that mock test like the institute provide which is like really really helpful that mm-hmm. really helped me because i attempted almost 3 to 4 i think 5 maximum 5 to 6 mock test when i mean i used to like get like low marks in the beginning but then it like boosted my confidence to do things yeah mocks are exactly. very important exactly this it gives you the experience of the original exam that you are going to give yes it is especially when you write essay also within yeah. 30 minutes we have to complete essay yeah you have a writing section as well so what were your what was your approach towards that Uh, first of all they will or... yeah yeah go ahead yes i did practicing uh, because uh, i take a lot of time writing mm-hmm. i know that in 30 minutes and 300 words because a uh, introduction body and conclusion should be very good yeah and and within the uh, within the like word limit also so i did practicing uh, but yeah within the time it's like okay. what would what would you suggest to the future aspirants who are actually preparing or you who want to get into this Uh, course what would you actually recommend them how should they approach the essay section or english as general say, yeah i will say that don't be embarrassed to get feedback because i was like that i will write and keep it to myself mm-hmm. you know and that was a bad strategy like in the end only i started showing to my teachers like this course to like institute people but when they started giving me feedback then i started like, getting improvements you know like they said pooja you are like too much stuff putting in introduction don't do that your conclusion looks bad you know put more stuff there in the end so they gave me i just i will strongly suggest that don't be embarrassed please like write and give and please write because we tend to like ho jayega you know it will be okay but no no you should write it at least like weekends mm-hmm. sunday maybe it's a good chance just it will take one hour to write and then submit it just put effort to write it will really really help you absolutely i agree on mm-hmm. that as well there are two things which i actually believe which i mm-hmm. think happens with with majority of the aspirants either they revise a lot or they have like a lot of material through which they go through only once so which would yeah. you prefer more material or less material but more revisions like less material in the sense you should have all the topics covered like yeah, yeah. right materials and mm-hmm. i will suggest revision because everybody can study okay like we will have confidence only when we revise like towards the if exam is on 12 suppose and like start practicing like revising from 9 10 or 8 9 10 11 but mm-hmm. don't study anything those days it will like you know add up the burden that we already we are nervous it's our first time so how has been your experience with your college 
I mean, your classes are absolutely going online. You must be frustrated that you have not seen that beautiful campus. I've heard a lot about it. Yeah, it's true. Like professors are amazing, and my batchmates are really, really good. They are helpful. It's fun, but yeah, we have classes a lot. But our reading readings be a lot. But if we're in the campus, it would be more amazing. Hmm. Absolutely. so like a person who does mm-hmm. not know what to specify like specifically study this course is really amazing because it will give you exposure to all the subjects mhm so, so i think this is like really amazing course to be honest the professors who are teaching us are like really highly educated and they're really encouraging all right all right so you mean like it's perfectly worth it to get into this course right exactly because yeah. you will get a lot of perspectives mhm cool cool all right uh, do you want to say something before we end this meeting something to the aspirants something to cheer them up a little bit yeah i'll say that like the exam is going to be in the month of august i guess or in june mhm june so i think you have like plenty of time and like please don't be nervous prepare your best and concentrate on english and maths a lot because that carries a lot of weightage mhm and yeah all the rest trust yourself okay <laughs> 